Now I will show you how you can uh, integrate our RTU CCAM 8000 to a control center via IC104 communication protocol. Following with the example we have been developing, we have here our RTU and we have one control center with one IP address where we want to establish the connection with RTU. So what we need to consider first, we need to select one protocol element where we will equip it with the, with the firmware for the communication protocol 104. So let's now do this in device manager. We will check in hardware and protocols that we have already for protocol 2 the 104 communication protocol. This is the same firmware that will work even either if we are master or slave. Next step would be done in RTU settings. So here we will go now to the protocol 2. We expand it and we go to connection definition. For each connection, each control center that uh, we want to send information to, we will add one line. In this case, we have only one control center. So we, what, we will add this line. Station number, we set one address from 0 to 99. Either one, we could use 0. Here, controlling or controlled. In general, if the RTU the, the, the one that starts the connection is normally the master, the control center. This would be, the control center is the controlling, and we are the controlled station. So we leave it here in controlled. And here we define the IP address of the control center. This is one, one of the reasons why our RTUs is quite secure they would only answer to requests from uh, an IP that we have previously configured. Next, as uh, we have said for the other protocols, for every connection that we have defined in the protocol elements, we need to define a corresponding con line in the topology. So we will go to the topology and we will add one line. This would be for protocol element two. This would be the station zero that we just defined. In this case, the data flow direction is in monitor direction. Important region number following our same, this would be region component two, like the protocol element two, and component zero. More, very important is this data flow routing in automatically and selective and you will see why in a second. Now, I guess you can imagine what should be the next step is to define which information shall we, shall we send to this control center. So the natural guess I will say would be to go here to the signals. And then we should select here the protocol element two. And then we should select here the information that we want to send to the control center. For example, these three currents. And then you select assign. This is what uh, uh, I would try if I were just flying by instinct. As soon as I do that, then I would get an error indicating me that the signal cannot be assigned to this protocol element 2 because this module of this protocol element does not support any category of the signals that I, I try to assign. So why did this happen? So basically the RTU, uh, and I will show here again in the uh, signals. When we 
created signals from Madbus devices. We had created at the beginning signals uh, here with one, one for 104 address. So this signal has already one 104 address made up by this common as do and information object address parameters. Every signal that exists in the system has already a 104 address. And we were mapping it to the protocol element Modbus, so it could be transformed from the 104 address to a Modbus address. And then the communication would flow. With 62050, the same happened. We have some signals with 104 address and they are transform or from the 6050 address they are transformed to 104. In this case, all the signals that we have created have already a 104 address. There is no need to translate them further. So I don't need to map them here. So now the natural question is then, how can I make the signals go directly, the, the signals that exist in the RTU, to be transferred directly to the control center. So here is where we must pay attention to the RTU settings, to the topology. This is the connection with the control center. And there we have data flow routing automatically. And select it. important keyword, automatically. And data flow direction, monitor direction. What these two columns means in this case is that all the information that exists in the RTU in monitor direction, monitor direction means single point, double point, measurements, etc., not commands, all this information would be automatically root routed to this station, automatically. So, basically, if you have some information that is coming from a slave, information in monitor direction, a measurement, for example, then comes to the RTU. If the connection with the control center has been defined with uh, automatic data flow in monitor direction, then this information will be automatically sent to this station. No need for me to map them individually. For 104 and 101, this is the case. I don't need to change the addresses because the addresses are defined by default. And this is it. This is all you need to do to configure one uh, control center uh, 104 in CCAM Device Manager for an RTU.